Nex this evening. Although it's believed being active before, during and after treatment for cancer can help improve survival rates, a new study suggests most people in our region don't have access to a tailored exercise programme. A survey carried out for Yorkshire Cancer Research found only one in 20 were given the support they needed. The charity is funding fitness programmes in Dewsbury, Pontefract, Wakefield and Harrogate, which are due to start by the end of the year. But the one in Sheffield is well underway and cancer patients there are already seeing the benefits. Here's Mark Hansel. You come right. up and then you take your breath in as you go back down again. Right. OK. Neil refused to take his bowel cancer diagnosis okay. sitting cool. down. He's in remission now and believes okay. exercise has been key to his recovery. Neil was part of the Active Together programme where people who are diagnosed with cancer in Sheffield are given an exercise and nutrition programme and psychological support. It was a very dark time in my life and my family's life when I was diagnosed and to come to a scheme and attend a scheme like Active Together, it gives you that focus, it gives you that motivation to do something to get yourself in a position so you're going to get better. Despite the benefits of being active, new research by YouGov with 500 cancer patients in Yorkshire has found that three quarters of them said that their healthcare teams did not discuss exercise with them following their diagnosis. In Yorkshire, someone's diagnosed every 17 minutes. I wouldn't be here today if I hadn't done exercise. I firmly believe that. The Active Together programme is funded by Yorkshire Cancer Research, which has launched a new film to try to get the message out there that exercise is linked to cancer survival. People used to think and used to be told when you had a health problem or when you had cancer, the right thing to do was to rest and to take it easy. But what we know and what the evidence tells us and what our patients tell us is that being active, exercising, um, eating well, eating healthily, looking after yourself, those are all the things that can make a difference to your health outcomes as well as the treatment that you're going to have for your cancer. What um, resistance exercises do you do? What weight exercises do you do? Following Sheffield's success, the Active Together project will start in Dewsbury, Pontefract, Wakefield and Harrogate by the end of the year. Many more cancer patients will be in the best shape possible to recover from the disease. Mark Ansell, BBC Look North, Sheffield.